Hey guys! So today it's five o'clock in the morning, and I'm starting to think that maybe I shouldn't do this so early because I swear I get more fun and happy and just cuddly uh, when I'm I haven't literally just woken up. But what we're going to talk about today is what we expect from an intern when they come into the office. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what, do you, what would you expect an intern programmer to be able to do at your company? I think this is a great question because this is, this is going to force me to touch on something that is damn complicated to, uh, to, to, to partly to explain a little bit and partly to to make it to make sense of for someone who isn't a programmer and doesn't really it's almost a catch-22 like you, you have to have experience in order to get why this is true and at the same time you need to kind of know how people think when they're hiring software developers and all of this stuff right so what I'm gonna tell you right now is that you may have you may have thought that there is this like objective measurement for what makes you a programmer. Some people, like, uh, let's take a doctor as an example. Not saying that you are equal, I'm just saying that let's for the sake of argument say that you want to be a doctor. You see, doctors have a license that states that they have the skills necessary and this is something that should, well, it's not always the same, but it's for most people within the same region, the same type of deal. You fulfill these requirements, now you are a doctor. This is not so in programming, not even close. What happens in programming is that pretty much every single company under the sun, except for Google and Facebook and Amazon and a few others, look to those companies to figure out what type of value system they should have or like some of the, the uh, the thought leader companies to what type of requirements uh, they they figure they try to figure out what type of requirements they would need basically so that they can judge for themselves what tools you should know and they can judge for themselves what language you should know if you should take logic test if they should get you get a blood sample from you maybe some saliva swabs as well checking your you know check your teeth do you have any cavities like they, they, they get this list of things that they should check and what hiring process they should have from most of these, uh, the, these sorts of companies, right? So if you're in Silicon Valley or something like that, you're probably even worse off than the people outside of Silicon Valley because there you're like, that's basically at the point where it's a religion. Like you, this is not just something that is a guideline for how you run a successful business in IT. You, you do this. Uh, I can just imagine the closer you get to the source, the worse it gets. But that means that what you expect from an intern, it does, and this is not just true for an intern, this is true for pretty much everybody, will differ from company to company. And this is the thing that I've warned you a few times about. Don't assume that you think that you know what it means to be a backend developer or a front-end developer or something like that, because the there is a range to things. Some companies will require more of you, some, some companies will require less of you. And this is something that I know, it's frustrating, I get it, I do, I really do, but I can't help you with this. This is not, I can't just tell you that, oh yeah, you should just do these things and then with good conscience sit here and think that, oh yeah, I did a really great bang up job, Frederick. You just helped out a bunch of people figuring something out because I didn't because I want to give you the reality of the thing. If you want false promises and like, oh, you just do this and that, there's tons of other YouTubers that will tell you that. And this is not the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is that because the, it ranges what you actually need to know. And it is frustrating. Sometimes you even have to study shit that you don't really use on a daily basis. You just need to have it because it sounds good. I have tons of that stuff. I have stuff that I don't really use but I still know kind of how to do it and I can put it on my CV and people still get excited about it even though they don't even use it. They don't even have it in their tech stack. They still get excited about it because they, is, they think that the more stuff that you know, the better you are. And that's just not true either. But that's a different, different thing. So, for you as the intern, what I personally can expect of you is not going to be the same thing 
as what you might find in other areas of the world. So if you have an internship at Google, they are going to expect some, some stuff from you. If you go to a shipping company though, with an IT department in some obscure place like, I don't know, I'm not going to mention any cities now because uh, that's, 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 uh, that's not nice, but some obscure place somewhere out there in the outskirts of things they're going to have a different expectation. If you go work for the government, they're going to have different expectations. But my expectations, I would say that I pretty much expect you to know what code is. I pretty much expect you to be able to produce very, very basic applications of some sort. I expect you to know what a server is. I expect you to know what a database is is. And I expect you to, as I said, be able to write something in any, like whatever programming language you want, right? And then I expect you to be able to make coffee. Well, that's about it really. Because the, the, when you are an intern, you know less than less. I, 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 unless you are like, immensely gifted, and I've never met an intern that was that immensely gifted. The, it depends, of course, on where, where you are in your education. But I mean, guys, if you, you can imagine a junior developer has problems finding a job and they're supposed to be done with their education. And they are, I mean, even if you get a job as a junior, it's, I have still never met a junior that was like, you know, you're just productive and you're able to start producing things. Even with just a little bit of assistance, they need quite a lot of attention quite often to be able to produce anything. And it takes a long time. And as an intern, I would say, as I said, depending on where you are in your education, it's even gonna, it's gonna be even lower. So an intern is for all intents, of pur intents and purposes, a most companies will look at them as a weight to the company in some fashion. Like it's just, a, it's, a, it's not a resource. You're not, nobody's gonna expect an intern to produce anything meaningful for the actual system that they are working on. The most common thing I see for interns is that they get real, like when they go to a new company, is one of two things. And the first thing is that they usually, uh, I'm sorry to say they get kind of exploited in a way. Uh, you get a really shit. You can get a really shitty position at some company where they have you do something that is like kind of relevant to your education, but it's really about them giving you a a job that could they could basically get anybody to do this. And now I'm not trying to be condescending, but one of the most common things that I see is that they have you do testing, like test their application and do stuff like that stuff that they can hire some, they could hire someone to do. It's not coding, it's basically just helping them with some quality checking and stuff like that. And making coffee, of course. I'll, most of them make their own coffee actually, so maybe you can get away from that as well. But uh, apart from that, the second thing that they do is that, and this is actually the good thing they should be doing, uh, all companies should be doing this if you ask me and you know that I am the authority on these things, so you know, just follow suit now. The second thing that they should do is to give you an outskirts program, a peripheral feature within the system. In other words, there are always, always things to do for a non-critical part of the system in any company. I don't care which company it is. The salespeople need help, the, the support staff need help. There are tons of ways that you could, could help out with just some basic coding skills. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to work on the ma main system. And your even ba like even the basic coding skills, even if it takes you a long time, if you can do a simple thing as you, you know, oh yeah, this company here, they send us a shipping order every week with is as a, CV, a CSV file or an XML file or something like that. That's a big hassle. If you could create a hook, like a web hook or something like that, that just identifies that, oh, you did a, you get a, you got a dispatch for this and that they this automatically just formats the file in some nice ways uh, and just inputs it directly into some input system that the company is using. That is actually you producing value for the company because it's going to save some poor staff member who should have taken a different course in life the work of inputting all that information themselves. And there you are, you as an intern with only the basics, as armed with the basics, you just actually produced some type of value. So what I want you to take away from this is that what I expect from a 
from an intern is very different from what most, like it, it ranges. So I'm sorry, I can't give you like, a, oh, this is exactly the thing that it's all about because it depends on which region you are, it depends on the company, it depends on what shoe size the boss has. And uh, apart from that, I would say that me personally, the basics are knowing what a server is. Like, well, how does the web actually work? How do you write some basic code? What is a database? Like these are bare bone basics of how most of web, like all of web development basically works. So that's like just the absolute basics. And be a little bit careful as well as an intern because some companies will try to just blatantly exploit you. They will exploit that you are naive. <clears throat> they will exploit that you don't have um, market value because you almost have you have almost no market value, and they will exploit that as well. And they will look at you as free labor, basically free slave labor. And if you get treated that way, it's not great. I will say, I've seen it happen more than once, and uh, it makes me cringe every time I see it. So if you can, try your absolute best to get an internship where you actually know what you're gonna work on, the actual project, and make sure that it is code related. That's for you just as much as it is for the company that you are working for. Have a great day.